Pills laced with fentanyl continue to plague our community and take lives. One dealer with no prior record was sentenced today for selling the lethal dose to the daughter of San Diego developer Doug Manchester. CBS 8's Jenny Day is live in our newsroom tonight with more from the emotional day in court. Jenny? Yeah, good evening. The man who sold his friend the pills had falsely assured her they had been tested for fentanyl. Prosecutors say he went as far as doctoring lab results, but we know now that wasn't true. He'll spend the next 15 years in prison. My daughter Sally was found unresponsive in her bed in the early morning hours by her two children. A mother and a child's nightmare. In September of 2020, Sally Manchester Recuti died after taking fentanyl-laced pills, sold by 54-year-old Joshua Breslow. At the dawn of each day, I ask to feel Sally's presence and love in my heart. The 49-year-old La Jolla mom, who had been struggling with addiction, is the daughter of developer and former Union Tribune owner Doug Manchester. He also spoke today. We give thanks and praise to God for the gift of our Sally and everything she stood for. As she said, people loved her. Prosecutors say after Breslow's arrest and release on bail, he continued to sell those very pills. He was initially charged with murder, but ended up pleading guilty to voluntary manslaughter and will serve 15 years. He expressed remorse in court. Even though Sally was in pain, she did not want to die. She loved her kids so much. And I took all of that from her, and I'm sorry. The Manchester family did say they were appreciative of his statement, but are ultimately relieved he won't be able to cause anyone else pain. Just last year, 817 people died from fentanyl overdoses in San Diego County. That's an average of two people per day. Many don't realize they are taking the deadly drug because it's hidden in illegal counterfeit pills made to look like legitimate prescription drugs. Live in the newsroom, Jenny Day, CBS 8. Yeah, all part of a growing problem here in San Diego and across the nation. Thanks, Jenny.